The Works Cited page is an essential part of the research paper. In this video, we're going to go through the process of creating the Works Cited page. The Works Cited page comes at the end of the research paper and is on a separate page. This step can be done at any time, whether or not you've completed your paper, even if you've only written a couple lines or paragraphs of text. Go to the bottom of your research paper draft, place your cursor on the next line after the last line of text. You might want to hold down the delete key first to get rid of any extra lines. Now go to the insert tab, then click the break page icon under the page group and insert a real page break. This will ensure that your work cited will stay on its own page and not be pulled up into the main body of your text. Next we want to center the title using the centering icon in the paragraph group on the home page. Then type the words work cited. Being sure to capitalize both the word works and the word cited. Do not use bold, italics, or add quotation marks to this or any other title in the MLA style. Then hit enter to go to the next line. Under the paragraph group on the home page, click the align left icon or alternatively hit the backspace to set your cursor at the left margin. To set hanging indents, go to the Home tab, in the paragraph group click the little arrow under the angle sign in the bottom right hand corner. Under Indentation, you will find the special window. Select Hanging from the drop-down menu. Be sure the By window is set to 0.5 or half an inch. Then click OK. Now we're going to create the citations. If you've already created your citations, you can highlight all of the entries and go through the process followed in the last step. Your citations are carefully formatted paragraphs containing the essential information from the sources you quoted, paraphrased, or summarized in your paper, and which you cited in your in-text citations. Only include those citations which you directly referenced in the in-text citations of your paper. Not all of the sources you looked at or consulted in doing your research should be included. However, do be certain that you reference the minimum number of citations required by your instructor. We'll format a sample citation together. Here in the bibliographic data for an online source, used to write the paper on Julius Caesar, we have the essay title, the author, the name of the website, the publisher of the website, the date of publication, the medium of publication, the date the writer of the research paper accessed the website, finally the URL. Now it's always a good idea to consult an expert source like the Purdue Online OWL or, or Online Writing Laboratory website. The website looks like this. Along the right hand side you'll find a link to the 2009 MLA formatting and style guide. Click on the link and you'll come to the page that looks like this. 
Along the left-hand side now, you'll find links to how to cite various publications in MLA format, including books, periodicals, electronic sources, and other common sources. First, we'll take a look at a model for the OWL website that appears to fit the material we have available for our citation. I was able to find models for encyclopedia entries, but not for online encyclopedia entries, so I found an entry for a web magazine entry which will suffice. Occasionally, you will have to use a different model or combine models to utilize all the bibliographical data that you have. The model begins with the author's last name, followed by a comma, followed by the first name, followed by a period. Next, we have the title of the article in quotations. Because it's the short work, and short works are put in quotation marks, followed by a period. And that period is inside the closing quotation marks. Then comes the name of the web publication, which is italicized because it is a long work, followed by a period. Then comes the owner, sponsor, or publisher of the website, followed by a comma, followed by the date of publication or last update of the website, followed by a period. Then the medium of publication which in this case is web, followed by a period. Lastly, the date when you last access the information, followed by a period. Now, let's use this model to make our citation. Now, since we have no author, we're going to begin with Ju the name of the article, which is Julius Caesar, and which is in quotations. We put the period inside the closing quotation. Next, we have the website, which is a large work, which therefore is italicized, Encyclopedia Britannica Online. Followed by a period. This then is followed by the publisher, which is Encyclopedia Britannica. followed by a comma, and then the date of publication, which is 2009, followed by a period. Then, the medium of publication, web, followed by a period, and then the date the author last accessed the information, 2015, followed by a period. Let's put in uh, one other source. We have a selection from a book um, by Marjorie B. Garber titled Dream Interpretation. And it's from a bo her book titled Dream in Shakespeare subtitled From Metaphor to Metamorphosis. But the publishing location is New Haven, followed by colon. The publisher is Yale University Press, 
the date of publication 1974 the medium print date of access is not required in a print citation So our example first has the author, last name first, followed by a comma, then first name, followed by a period. Then we have the title of our book, and since it's a large work, we put it in italics, followed by a period. Then we have the publishing location, New York followed by a colon, then followed by the, by the publisher, followed by a comma, and then lastly the, the date of publication, followed by a period. And then we have the medium of publication print. Since it's a book, we don't need um, the date we accessed it. So we start with the author's name, since we have an author for this one. Last name first, Garber, comma, and the first name, Marjorie B, middle initial, followed by a period. And since we're using the period after her middle initial, we don't need to put a second period to show that that's the end of the author information. Next, we put in quotation marks because it's a small work, the article, dream interpretation, followed by a period inside the quotation marks. This then is followed by the name of the book in that italicized because it's a large work, Dream and Shakespeare, colon, subtitled, from metaphor to metamorphosis. Followed by a period. And we have the location of publication, which is New Haven. Connecticut, followed by a colon, the name of the publisher, which is Yale University Press, followed by a comma, then the date of publication. 1974, followed then by the medium, which is print, followed by a period. Now let's go ahead and add a couple more citations to make it look more like a works cited page and so that you can see that all of the citations are listed in alphabetical order according either to the author's last name or if we don't have an author by the first word first major word in the title there is one last step you want to double check your entire paper now including the works cited page to make certain that the entire paper from beginning to end is double spaced and is using the Times New Roman fault. There's never any reason to single space or triple space any part of your paper. Also make certain that there are no extra spaces between paragraphs. Now make one last check of your page numbering header. Make sure it is using Times New Roman. Notice that we did not list the URL in our first example. MLA format does no, no longer requires URL.